Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time tuning in, you're welcome. On this channel, I upload sewing and craft videos every week. I would encourage you to please subscribe to my channel so you do not miss an upload. It is free to subscribe and it alerts the YouTube algorithm that something great is happening here, you know. <laughs> and it just helps me grow the channel. So thank you for subscribing and I hope you enjoyed this video. This video is dedicated to my mom. Um, Mother's Day and her birthday fell on the same week and this video is in celebration of that. I made this beautiful three-tiered skirt for her with an exposed elastic band and she loved it. it. It was very easy to make, very simple. And in this video, I will walk you through the steps I took to achieve this skirt so you can also make something similar. If you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful, please support my channel by liking the video, leaving a comment, sharing and of course subscribing to my channel. <laughs> Thank you. Put on my seatbelt. Put on my seatbelt. Okay, so what was I saying? So today's my mom's birthday, and I made a skirt for her, which you're gonna see the tutorial off. And right now, I'm just going to get something to go along with the skirt like a top a blouse whatever to go with the skirt <laughs> yeah so let's go shopping with me okay oops Now it's time for the tutorial. If you've gotten to this point of the video, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So I need to give credit to where credit is due. This skirt was inspired by two lovely ladies here on YouTube who's, who upload sewing videos as well. Priscilla of Kim Dave channel on YouTube who inspired the three-tiered skirt and the exposed elastic band was inspired by Gillette Uzor who is the winner of the Great British Sewing Bee um, Season 5. So do check out their channels. The materials needed for this skirt are pattern paper, a ruler, any other pattern making tools. You also need your measuring tape, pin, fabric of choice, of which I'll be using this black satin fabric and one meter of this orange Ankara as an accent fabric. You also need your lining for the inner skirt, a matching thread, your same machine of course, and this beautiful gold thread elastic band or any other elastic band you can find. Important measurements in it for this skirt are your hip circumference, not the waist circumference because it is an elastic band skirt and we need it to pass over the widest part of the body, which is the hip. You also need the hip depth measurement, the length of the skirt, and the length of each tier. The total length of my skirt was 30 inches and the length of the first tier was 11 inches, the second tier was 10 inches, and the last tier was um, 9 inches. To avoid using excess materials, we are going to make a short inner skirt first, then cut out a semi-circle skirt which will serve as the tiers. Let's begin by drafting the pattern for the inner skirt first. So after drafting this pattern, I decided that it was so simple and um, I could have directly measured this on my fabric, but I still went ahead to use the pattern still, but you can measure this uh, measurements on your fabric directly. So start off by drawing a reference line at the top of the paper. On that line, mark quarter of the hip circumference measurement, which is the hip circumference divided by four inches plus um, one inch seam allowance. 
Next, mark the hip depth. Um, mine was nine inches, and I will use this point as the first tier of the inner skirt. Next, measure the length of the inner skirt, and um, but to this length, you're gonna add one inch for joining the first tier to the second tier. You need one inch for hemming and half an inch for joining the skirt to the waistband. So, the total of this is. 2.5 inches plus the length of the second tier and uh, mine was 10 inches so just mark this from hem of the first tier to the end of the second tier at the hem of the second tier i added four inches to the quarter of the hip measurement which is what i marked at the top then i just drew a line to connect the top line to the hem of the second tier I then proceeded to draw out the seam and the hemming allowances. Cut this out and place the pattern on your lining fabric and cut out the back and front at the same time by folding your fabric twice so you have four layers of fabric. Okay, now it's time to put on your mathematics hat on, but I promise you that this is very simple and it's not as hard as it looks. I decided on semicircles because number one, I wanted to manage the fabric I had, and secondly, I didn't want the fullness of a full circle skirt. To make the first semicircle, you need to determine the radius, um, and the radius for this is um, the hip circumference plus one inch divided by pi and pi is 3.142 fold the fabric over once so you have a folded edge on one side and an open edge on the other side mark out the radius start measuring from the tip of the fabric and pivot your measuring tape around to form a cone like so Next, measure the length of the skirt starting from the tip of the fabric and pivot around like so. Once you're done doing this, cut out the semicircle. To calculate the radius for the second tier, Multiply the hem of the first tier in a skirt by 4 and then divide this by pi. Do the same for the third tier. The only difference is the radius, which you get by multiplying the hem of the second tier in a skirt by 4 and then divide this by pi. So now you have all your pieces, which are two inner skirt pieces cut on the lining fabric, three semicircle pieces, and your elastic band, which will be the last thing to attach. Let's begin assembling the skirt now. We're going to walk our way to the top, starting from the bottom. First, attach the front and back pieces of the inner skirt by joining at the side seam with a straight stitch. Also, close up the semicircles in the same way. I finished up the raw edges of all the pieces with a zigzag stitch to make it neat. Next, pin the top of the third tier of the main fabric to the hem of the second tier in a skirt ensuring that the right sides are facing. This might sound confusing, but all you need to do is just um, place the top of the third tier of the, of the main fabric to the hem of the second tier inner, fabric, inner skirt, ensuring that the right sides are facing each other. Join this with half an inch seam allowance and I finished this hem with a zigzag stitch as well. Next, join the top of the second tier of the main fabric to the top of the second tier of the inner skirt and pin this all around and join with a straight stitch at half an inch seam allowance. Next, we're going to work on the top half of the skirt separately by joining it to the bottom half we just finished. 
Place the first tier of the inner skirt inside the first tier of the main fabric and with a straight stitch and a 1cm seam allowance, join the first tier of the inner skirt and the first tier of the main fabric together at the top. We're going to use an elastic band for the waistband. So, to get the length of this waistband, subtract 2 inches from your waist circumference and cut this as the length of the elastic band. Join the loose ends of the elastic bands together. Sew over these several times with a straight stitch to secure it. To ensure that I evenly spread the gathers, I placed pins on the elastic band and the skirt to mark the center front, the center back and the two side seams. I pinned the elastic on the skirt following the same pattern. Take this to your sewing machine and as you sew, you need to pull the elastic to stretch over the fabric and sew with a 1 cm seam allowance. Then I went ahead and did a top stitch to hold down the seam inside so that the skirt um, lays flat and there are no bumps or bulges. Before attaching the first half of the skirt to the bottom half, hem the first tier skirt by folding the hem twice and sew with a straight stitch. So the skirt is almost done now. Join the inner skirt of the first tier to the top edge of the second tier, right sides facing. Pin together and sew around with a straight stitch at half an inch seam allowance. Don't forget to finish the row edges with a zigzag stitch or you can overlock it as well. And with that, the skirt is done. The last thing I did was to finish the hem of the second and the third sk tier skirt. Um, as I did for the first. It was really simple to assemble and I am definitely going to try this for myself. I love the exposed elastic band feature and um, it makes it easy to wear and it's much simpler to attach than a zipper. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below wishing my mom a happy birthday. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video which is next week. <laughs> Bye for now.